so unique. Oh my god. I didn't even know goblins had gunships. Oh my god, he is throwing hands. But he's got a flail with him. Oh my god, I love this mod. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. As we near closer and closer to Team Mod Loader coming out for 1.4, you know, I decided to do some more mod showcases. So that's what we're doing today. We are checking out a mod called the Amulet of Many Minions mod. And look at that, I found the Amulet of Many Minions from the mod in the mod. But yeah, if you guys know 1.4 and I guess 1.4.1, it was a major summoner overhaul, not that major not enough to make it you know like a top tier class but i will consider summoner a top four class you know what i'm saying but yeah as you can see there's a lot of items and minions and armors and stuff to go over so let's get right to it all right so let us go ahead and start with the armor sets in this mod now from the looks of this mod without me really touching everything it looked like a very vanilla ish type mod and you may be like gamers what does vanilla ish mean well vanilla means you know a game without any mods modding means a game with mods vanilla like mods are things i would consider like the thorium mod you know things that are really close to what terraria is and they don't alter too much even though the thorium mod adds in a lot but i like to do it in games like skyrim fallout where i install vanilla like mods that don't alter the game too much i would consider a really like non-vanilla mod calamity gigantic overhaul mod pretty much it's its own story but like mods like thorium and from the looks of it mods like this are nice like light vanilla mods that add on to the the game uh this might add in a lot though well it's it kind of makes sense because summoner in 1.3 is kind of trash but yeah let's go over this stuff from the looks of it though this mod already looks amazing let's start with the armor though mildew yes my favorite mildew armor let's go ahead we got a lot of stuff to look over here so we gotta we gotta speed through this mildew how do we make it we make it out uh, with nice nature natural gear easy stuff to find there's a damn sandstorm come on right when i start recording all right we're back like there never was a sandstorm let me take off my armor and reveal that i am playing as chippy in disguise and let us put on this mildew set oh damn i look kind of cool hey chippy you should rock this fit so let's just read the set bonus i'm not gonna read the individual stats i'm going straight to the set bonus increase your max minions by one your minions will release damaging fungi while attacking all right let's go ahead and uh let's pull out a vanilla minion i guess because i don't really want to show off the minions until we get to them and let's see this fungi there you go how many do we have two minions that's fine go ahead boys show me some fungi oh look at that nice very beautiful on to the next armor set here the arid set let us go ahead and put this on and let us see what it's made out of oh ancient cloth so there must be a way to get ancient cloth in this mod then because isn't ancient cloth like a, a very late game thing to get hey look this is an armor set that should have been a vanilla summon armor set but yeah i don't know the mod has to add something for ancient cloth to drop but yeah as you can see the set bonus now there is a very specific new feature in this summoner mod that adds in controllable summons called squires now i guess i'll go ahead and take this out because we need something to show it off the guide friendship bracelet summons a squire click and hold to guide its attack maybe you're not such a terrible person i don't know about that they haven't seen my browser history but yeah let's read the set bonus first set bonus increases minion damage by 15 percent increases squire travel range by one block and angry tumbler will assist your squire in combat let's summon a squire here look at that there's our squire and i'm assuming if we just hold left click yeah look i'm holding down left click i'm kind of controlling the shooting right now we got a little tumbler next to me too uh right clicking doesn't seem to do much but this is cool this is a more hands-on minion experience so let me summon in a uh, zombie here and the tumbler's attacking i'm aiming with my minion and i'm assuming you can have other minions out too and having the other minions out too will also you know they'll do what they do while you do what you do so this feature is way better than whips let's be honest whips whips but anyways very cool feature i like this if i ever do a like very vanilla like summoner playthrough in the future which i might honestly this mod might be a go-to next up we got two armor sets that i believe are exactly the same just different colors yep the stats look exactly Exactly the same let us see the recipe illusionist ah okay that's why because it's you know crimson variant and corruption variant let's put this on uh, you can see the stats really quick again i'm just trying to see the set bonus so set bonus plus one max minions a wisp will spawn as your minions deal damage and look at that the wisp already spawned i haven't even done any damage but let me go ahead and see if there's a different set bonus for each set oh is there no okay just the wisp take a second to spawn in these sets both look cool but let us go ahead and summon in how 
however many minions we can. Damn, four? Four and that's not even including the set bonus? Let's see him in action. Get him, boys. Right here. So we saw the wisp, but they kind of shoot out. Yeah, look at that. This one, he's a little confused, though. He's a little confused. Honestly, I understand. Life is confusing sometimes. From what I'm seeing so far, all these sets are very unique, which is something that a lot of sets in Terraria sometimes just lack, or even like just in big mods. I feel like unique set bonuses for armor is such a minuscule thing that mods and even vanilla Terraria doesn't really pay attention to that much. And I'm talking about unique. I'm talking like you put on a set and you get plus 5% damage as a set bonus. So you put on a set and you get plus 10% movement speed like that that's whack come on give me something unique all right the next helmets here not armor sets the next set of helmets here are obviously or helmets and we got a spooky mask i don't know why is this a spooky mask i'm, I'm kind of interested what is the original spooky set bonus or at least for the helmet increase your max number of minions increase the minion damage by 11 percent. so you're getting more defense but you're losing the max number of minions and you're gaining or you're keeping the same damage but you just get more defense which honestly is not too bad let's put this on it also looks awesome like this could be like if i put this on chaos if i take this off peacefulness i don't know what the hell is the opposite of chaos but uh is there a different set bonus oh there might be a different set bonus oh is this for the squire this might be for the squires we got all these items there squire stuff like i need to see like some of these let me let me try one of these because i don't know if this is like the main squire weapon you know let me see this yeah, it is the main squire weapon. Oh, look at this, but they have different attacks. Whoa, this is sweet. All right, let me summon in something then. Let me summon in something and let me beat his ass. These zombies feel really strong. I think it's because I have so many other mods installed, but that's very cool. I'm kind of hyped to see the rest of these things. All right, but yeah, let me go ahead and spawn in some titanium and adamantite here just to see if there's a new set bonus for these. Let's just read what the helmets do. Increases minion damage by 15%, increases max minions by one, and I'm assuming the same, surprisingly the same, even though titanium him or the new or stuff is kind of always better uh but let's see set bonus so we get squire stuff very nice and we get an increase in minion damage by 25 percent so like pretty much what they did with the hollowed set even though the hollowed set's pretty good in uh 1.4 i'm assuming this is fairly the same actually no it's different set bonus become immune after striking enemy increasing minion damage by 10 percent all right on to the next set here which i believe is a squire specific set the royal set i have not been looking at the recipes well actually no i guess we didn't really have to look at the recipe is of the last uh set of helmets but royal crown ah oh, pretty easy to craft nice so let's go ahead and look at this here you drop this king thank you but yeah increases squire stuff increases minion damage uh let's go ahead and put that on wow we look we look pretty cool giving me yuri mirror vibes man but yeah is there a set bonus a floating crown will assist your squire in combat let's see it in action then oh look at that crown beautiful let's see how it assisted though oh okay kind of just throws sort of like wonder woman i see it all right on to the accessories here now, we got a good bit of accessories to check out. Let's start with these top three, I guess. We got the Charm of Mighty Minions. Greatly increases minion damage, but reduces max number of minions by one and reduces minion variety bonus by 2%. No idea what a variety bonus means, but what I would assume is you have different types of minions instead of just summoning, you know, all just one type of minion. So, like, instead of having just, like, four slimes, say I have a slime, a hornet, and an imp that's what i would assume next up we got the charm of mini minions increases max number of minions by one and increases minions variety bonus by one percent but each minion deals slightly less damage uh i'm assuming these have recipes i would assume uh yes they do have recipes okay they're made with the dark shard and the light shard amulet of many minions does that have a recipe in here amulet of many minions boom right there oh that's a lot of stuff you need for this yeah amulet of many minions increase your max number of minions by two percent greatly improves minion damage increase your variety bonus by two it's pretty much combining these two together very nice all right let us go ahead and speed through the rest of the accessories because look how many minions we have to get through vial of feral blood some say helpful bat to afflict your squire with a feral bite greatly increases attack and move speed for 15 seconds then reduces damage for 10 seconds use activate set bonus to activate beautiful let's summon it in here and let's see it with a squire look at that little feral bat there and uh, i would assume if we just double tap yeah we, we get the effect right there the feral bite effect 
because it's usually double tap S to activate your sub bonuses. Next up, we have the Squire Spyglass and the Squire Scope. The Spyglass increases Squire travel range, uh, which I'm assuming is like the, the mushroom one, how he was able to go really far. I'm assuming a bunch of these accessories and armor sets affect that range. And then we got the Scope, increases view to range for Squires. Right click to zoom out so we can, oh, wow, beautiful. So we can legit like send him over there if he's a melee one. And that also gives us an increase in damage and uh, travel range. Uh, I'm assuming there's also a recipe for these. Yes, the scope. Okay, simple as that. Now I'm assuming the spyglass also has a recipe. That's a really easy recipe. What about the feral blood vial? Yeah, that might be a drop because that does not have a recipe. All right, on to the next. We have the necro pendant, techno pendant and lockbox of many minions let's start with this one lockbox of many minions equipable increases minion variety bonus by one percent wow does it have a recipe yes it does nice and easy recipe and then might as well check out the pendants uh the techno one does but not the necro one i'm assuming the necro one is a drop then so the necro one increases squire damage by 10 percent summons a cursed skull that grants a rotating debuff to squire attacks beautiful we'll see it in action look at the skull the animation so far and the sprite work has been beautiful in this mod i have no complaints there so far and we got the techno pendant summons a mechanical skull that gets a rotating debuff to squire attacks can't put both of them on you, you have to take one off and put this one on look at that beautiful and uh we don't really need to summon anything it just adds in a debuff but there you go there was all the accessories and armors it's time to get to that juicy part you guys have been waiting for this all right let us check out the summons so i try to organize them from strongest to weakest i guess weakest to strongest but i don't even think that affects most of them because there could be like a weak weapon that says like it does weak damage but then it's like the blade staff and does true damage or something so don't worry about the numbers okay let's just go ahead and start checking them out here i'll go ahead and grab a handful and let's start with the acorn staff uh, just because there's so many of these i'm not going to check out the recipes for these let us just begin showing them off so we got legit just acorns that fly around us very very interesting uh, how many can i spawn in here four i did give myself some uh summon accessories so we can summon in a couple let's see a zombie beat his ass so they kind of hover over it and drop like more acorns down on it very interesting this is a nice early game summon though not too strong nothing crazy it's like the finch uh let's just hope it's easier to get i'm assuming you would just craft it with acorns unlike the finch where you gotta pray to rng jesus on to the next the slime cart staff summon slime miner to fight for you let's see slime miner oh very very not oh they come in different colors okay i see them and look at the boys they're just right behind me all right let's see him in action oh they ran his ass over again i don't know why these zombies are so tanky what the hell he's getting a train ran on him literally i like this one this one's amazing next up prickly pear staff some is a prickly pear hedgehog to fight for you a hedgehog it's looking like that one pokemon what's that pokemon's name shaman shaman something like that all right let's see them in action here though oh my god okay they summon in cactus so they're projectiles and they, they gotta kind of walk into the cactus okay these ones might not be the greatest for single target but they might be good for like multiple targets let me go ahead and summon in like a couple here okay i guess that goblin statue doesn't summon in anything i, I never knew that never knew that you know at least i'm learning something new yeah these ones they seem okay for crowd control but not not too good for a uh, single target next up we got the meteor fist i feel like i've seen this before from thorium in fact if i type in meteor fist does that come up no rocket fist rocket fist that's what it looks like i don't know there's a lot of there's a lot of fistings L literally a meteor fist from calamity so who the hell knows who got inspired by who first but anyways summons a meteor fist to fight for you as simple as that oh my god this dude is ready to square up and look at that he gets more fists the more summon you have i thought i was just gonna summon more of him but no Oh, he's legit ready to square up he's throwing hands literally oh my god he is throwing hands this one is beautiful i like this one i like like all of them so far the, all the sprites are amazing again the next up paper surfer some say paper surfer what the hell does that mean oh that's cool <laughs> I, I love this this is just such a cool sprite it's so unique too like where the hell they get paper surfer from i don't know but look at them they're just hitting him we got the paper airplanes you know shout out the paper airplanes from 1.4 which are like low-key one of my favorite uh throwing weapons in 1.4 even though they're kind of rare but yeah on to the next starry sky slashes some is an enchanted sword to fight for you how many swords four of them and they all kind of line up kind of weird they like line up diagonally let's see a man action though oh 
okay beautiful they throw themselves at him now i was looking for more of like a stab or a slash but i guess we could throw ourselves at him too and last but not least for this first set of minions we're looking at mystic palette some is an ethereal painter set to fight for you painter set so you telling me motherfuckers about to get their ass beat by paint brushes i don't know about y'all but i would be mad as hell if a paintbrush just started to smack me so that was the first set of minions here let's go ahead and grab the next set i'm pretty hyped to see the rest of these they have been very promising so far i can't wait to see the squire stuff all right so we got corruption and crimson cell staff summons a corrupt cell and summons a crimson cell crimson cell let's see him here there's a corruption one there's a crimson one let's go ahead and oh see i thought we were gonna summon multiple oh and there's that minion variety right there i thought we were gonna summon in multiple but it seems like if you just have one it just gets bigger and bigger whoa look at that all right let's see it in action then okay it shoots projectiles what is that eaters it's shooting out that's always nice to see and then yeah let us go ahead do some in this one and we'll see the corruption one get big nice uh, i don't know if it gets any bigger than this but uh that's how big we're gonna get it for now and it shoots out little little uh, i don't know what the hell those were leeches i don't know little mouths little hungries i guess next up we have the sorbet staff some is an enchanted balloon balloon animal all right this one already sounds amazing come on oh what the hell this is what they meant this is amazing this is the last thing i would have expected all right go ahead fuck them up balloon animal you thought the paintbrushes were bad imagine getting hit by a balloon over and over again that's gonna make your hair stand up and stuff that's a lot of ecstatic shock coming your way all right next up skeletal keychain some is a skull biker so unique oh my god my boy got the bike and i love that they come in different colors because not even vanilla terraria would be doing that for most dominions go ahead and summon in a minion then again my boy getting ran over imagine getting pulled on by a bunch of little bikers they just woke up for violence too like they don't even want to talk to you they just want to beat you your ass all right next up slime pyre staff some is a vampire slime to fight for you ignores 10 enemy defense this is giving me uh some blade staff vibes right here you know a lot of people underestimate the blade staff the blade staff is strong as hell and a lot of people thought because it just does low number damage or it has low number damage that it was a weak item but the blade staff proved them wrong what the hell is going on here can you guys attack them all right i guess not on to the next bee queen's crown not queen bee's crown B Queen's crown. Summons a B assistant to fight for you. What the hell? Uh, I don't know what happens if we summon in multiple. If it just gets stronger or what. But let us go ahead and see it in action here. Oh, she dropped a bucket of honey on him. And then the bucket of honey spawns in little slimes. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Get this dude too. We ain't letting him off the hook this time. All right. Unstable detonator. Summons a bomb buddy to fight you fight for you bomb buddy oh so we got a little ba bomb here hopefully they don't uh actually explode anything oh that oh they come back okay okay i thought it was gonna be like the thorium snowmen where you had to keep on summoning them in but now nah, they just they just resummon themselves and they jump them so i believe we're getting into the hard mode stuff here let me change this uh goblin statue to something that actually spawns in something because like I, I legit did not know that you can't spawn goblins from the goblin statue who would have thought right even with the mods installed let us put a hoplite statue let's hope that works but yeah i'm assuming we're getting into like the hard mode stuff now uh starting with the avoid dagger which summons in avoid daggers to fight for you of course let's see him in action okay beautiful kind of like the blade staff i believe this is pretty much the blade staff right here or very similar at least it has good range though and they go through like the floor which is amazing next up goblin radio beacon some is a goblin gunship i didn't even know goblins had look at this dude i didn't even know goblins had gunships so like what does uh something more do it just makes his gun stronger yeah look at that his gun just got stronger every time all right a little bit of an annoying noise but it's not like we haven't heard this noise before but it is this is beautiful this is this is one of my favorites so far and there's been a lot of good ones next up bone serpent staff i'm assuming i know exactly how this is gonna be yes sir this is exactly what i expected let's see it in action does good damage uh and can hit multiple targets so that's an a plus there on to the star surfer stuff some say star surfer so i'm assuming this is gonna be like the paper airplane but stars let me see these boys in action they upgraded to stars no paper airplanes here you know i haven't been hit by many paper airplanes and i damn sure have not been hit by a star but it has to hurt next up noel hatchet some is an ethereal axe which i'm assuming this is pretty much the void dagger but like the crimson version maybe yeah that's exactly what it is next up we got cloud 
in a boulder summons an extremely dense cloud to fight for you deals high damage but attacks very slowly now is it one cloud or is it multiple it's multiple and they kind of got it like a little like seal face but it is pretty cute let's see him in action here let's see him at oh my god it's like the kirby attack they're like thwomps this is amazing i like this this is definitely something you can use to clear out an invasion notice how all these summons have been super unique so far which is just beautiful awesome amazing magic jelly bean jar summons a stack of magic moles see i would not get that from jelly beans moles oh look they got the same face oh look at them they're like diglets dog trio when they fly oh look they're on their own piece of land when they fly i should have been checking out flying animations my bad I, I don't think we're gonna do it now but there's probably some cool like easter eggs and stuff when you do flying animations but let's see them in action the date they're legit just like diglet this is how i'd expect Dig diglet to attack like he would just go underground and just chase your ass down we are on to the last set of the regular summon weapons before we check out all the beautiful squire stuff starting with the crystal fist staff some a crystal fist to fight for you i'm assuming this is gonna be just like the meteor fist god damn i gotta stand behind me oh yes my boy is ready to throw hands this is definitely stardust guardian vibes right here no doubt stardust guardian vibes next up we got the copter x staff summons a flexible helicopter flexible helicopter what in the hell <laughs> this is uh something i didn't expect but it's so unique like what a unique idea or just like concept like uh, all these things i summon in like i have no idea what to expect except for like one or two of them but let's see it in action here i'm assuming this is just gonna be like a mid-tier stardust guardian dragon i said a lot a lot of extra words there stardust dragon next up we got the charred spinal cord summons a charred chimera to fight for you oh my god what the hell <laughs> so the more summons i have the more heads he gets okay let's see it in action oh look at that that's a cool attack right there very very unique attack again this mod being unique with all its summons not only the look of the summons but the attacks next up clarence summons a flying sword to fight for you maybe this is just a really strong blade staff is what i would assume oh it's like a stronger version of that like throwing sword we saw earlier this one right here the sky slasher next up spirit revolver summons a sentient bullet to fight for you or sentient bullets make sure they don't get hungry what the hell does that mean all right let's see him in action here so we got the revolver itself and then we got the bullets around the revolver whoa that was cool as hell this thing is strong as hell too next up we got eclipse herald staff can't come to grips with the total eclipse just a slip of your lips and you're gone this shit is spitting bars right now let's see it in action here it doesn't really tell me much whoa what the hell this is a reference to something an eclipse herald uh the like black hole behind him or the eclipse behind him gets bigger every time i summon in more see it in action so he literally throws the eclipse at you that shit that has to hurt after that we have the shadow flame probe controller some is a goblin technomancer to fight for you if this is anything like the goblin helicopter one it's got to be cool right oh pretty much the same vibes as the helicopter one but this time it's a technomancer with like little orbs i'm assuming it's gonna shoot out oh he it shoots a gun and the orb shoot out or the probe shoot out that's amazing and last but not least the last one from the regular summons i believe unless i missed something the necro doll summons a necromancer to fight for you the necromancers the ones that do like a million damage underground oh look it's dropping off like little baby ones let's see it in action here holy hell that was a lot of exploding so shoots projectiles and then on top of the projectiles the little skeletons they uh they blow up but there you go there has been all the regular weapons i loved all of them they were all amazing all right let's get right into it let's go ahead and just grab as many as i can here and we already saw the crest of the forest which is the mushroom squire click and hold to guide its attacks of course now my question is okay so you do need to be holding it to guide it but yeah we already saw this one very very cute very very dope on to the next one the crest of the frozen north now my question is can you only have one squire at a time yeah it's looking like one squire at a time so it would have been very very interesting having multiple at once but also very chaotic but we have a viking squire here 
Let's see him in action. Damn, he got the double axe. I see him. On to the next, we got the Ancient Crest of Cobalt. Again, I ordered these by damage, but I don't know if they're specifically organized by progression. Again, something can do low damage, but it can have like true damage or penetrate armor. But yeah, let's summon in this one. An Ancient Cobalt Squire will fight for you. Very cool. They're kind of using that Terraria lore of there being ancient armor. That is a very, very unique and very, very good idea too, to sort of build off of the lore, uh, even though Terraria doesn't really have lore. We we know what happens when they try to make lore. They, they retconned it like the next day. On to the next. Crest of the Sea. A flying fish. Wow. <laughs> this one is amazing. So he shoots a bubble out. And he's also a melee uh, squire too. Which is very, very nice. Next up, we got the Pumpkin Crest. A pumpkin squire will fight for you. Let's see it in action. Ooh. So he throws little uh, pumpkin bombs or just pumpkin projectiles that do explode eventually i don't know if they do more damage if they explode on something crest of the shadows a shadow squire will fight for you let's see it in action here so he's just wearing the armor i'm noticing a lot of them are just like wearing armor sets well i guess you know squire is pretty much what that is but yeah let's see it in action uh it just has the axe and it's, it's swinging on him it's doing a lot of damage it's like the first one we had kill the zombie at a normal speed but again we have a bunch of mods in here that are probably buffing the hell out of zombies next up we got the golden rogue crest or the golden rouge i don't know a golden rogue squire will fight for you so this one throws knives as we can see and i'm assuming this is a hard mo a hard mode one and it does a good damage so it has to be a hard mode one i don't know or a, le a late pre-hard mode one yeah that was our first set let's go ahead and get some more this is where i I expect things to get crazy right here. A uh, Crest of the Crimson. This one I'm assuming is just a Crimson version of that other one. Uh, after that, Adamantite Crest. We're gonna see a little, little Adamantite guy. Oh, he's got a Glaive. So he should have some decent range, even though it doesn't really matter. We can get up close no matter what. Let me see it against multiple enemies. Oh yes, that's easy. We're penetrating all of them. After that, we got Crest of Bones, a Bone Squire. Is, this, is he going to be wearing Necker armor? No, he's just a, a little bone dude. But he's got a flail with him. This is amazing. Ball and chain, whatever you want to call this. This this is amazing. Creativity, again, at its finest. Because, like, if you think about it, it's kind of hard to make these squires stand out from each other. Because it's either you got a melee one or you got a projectile one. But then they add in ones like this. Swinging projectile or swinging melee. We got this one penetrating melee it's like they're so creative the mod devs thought of everything up next titanium crest pretty much the same as the adamantite one crest of eyes a squire square squire squire get it no i don't well i guess we'll see in a second oh i get it so this one is just amazing they're, they're no comment no comment here. it's just amazing it shoots lasers it's like the enemy from the uh, solar eclipse, which I'm assuming that's where you get this. Next up, Crest of Armored Bones. An Armored Bone Squire will fight for you. Let's see it in action here. So just like a stronger version of the uh, Ball and Chain one. And it like leaves and uh, what is that? Like a damage over time thing? Or is that a projectile? No, it's a projectile. Very nice and very strong. And last but not least, for these crests at least, is the Crest of Stardust. Summons a Squire. A Stardust Squire will fight for you. Let's see it. We're summoning in our own, like, ourself. If we were wearing Stardust, hold up, let me, let me match it with the Squire. Look at this. So we got me in the Stardust, and then we got the little Squire in the Stardust. He's shooting out the dragon. He has the stand behind him. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love this mod. All right, on to our final set of items in the mod here. It's sad that we got to end this video, but we got it. All good things must come to an end. We already saw the guide of friendship. Yeah, we've seen this one. The little, little guy, look at him. But let's see this one right here. Potted Pal summons a squire. A friendly plant will fight for you. Let's see this Potted Pal. I don't know why I put it in its own category next to this one. Well, I guess it wasn't a crest, so like it had no other place to go. But this, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. It's like I got my own Plantera. I like this one. This one might be one of my favorites. But I don't know. It's kind of hard to beat that Stardust one. On to the next, Soulbound Swords. Some say Squire, an enchanted sword will fight for you. So I'm assuming, wow, we're pretty much just, we got a sword that we just hold with our mind. It's like if I had a really long sword, like, is this considered melee? Next up, we got the soulbound bow, which is the same thing, but a bow. Is, is this considered ranger now? And then we have it where they're combined together. Beautiful. The sword and the bow and they're stronger variants too. Very, very nice. So the sword actually shoots a projectile, but I'm assuming 
you can still use it as a regular sword. Yeah, if you hit things, it's like a regular sword still. Very, very nice. And last but not least, the true guide voodoo doll. You are a really terrible person. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't look at the browser history, bro. Let's see it in action here. Oh, I gotta kill it and it turns into the wall of flesh. That is so amazing. Oh my god, I love this mod. I wanna see it again. I wanna see it again. Desummon it. Oh, it has this amount of time it fights for you, I'm assuming. As soon as that goes away, back to the guide. Oh my god, that's so cool. You you legit have to get the guide killed. That's hilarious. That's such a good detail. What can I say about this mod? This may be one of the greatest mods I've checked out in a while. Okay, maybe not in a while. I do I do play around with a lot of good mods. It's kind of hard to say that but i always love modded summoner because modded summoner there was just endless ideas but when it comes to vanilla summoner the class kind of sucks so it's kind of hard to love it in vanilla but modded summoner i would always say is my favorite class and you could just see right here the creativity that mod creators can have and just expand and build upon one of the weaker classes in terraria but yes give this mod a try this mod has made me hype to give it a try i kind of want to do a playthrough where we have a bunch of uh you know light vanilla like mods but we have a bunch of summoner overhaul stuff i know another summoner playthrough i won't finish <laughs> but yeah i love this mod shout out to the developers of this mod i hope you guys enjoyed the video because this is probably one of the funnest things that i've gotten to check out in a while it is finally time for me to announce the game raider socials check me out game raiders 101 on snapchat game raiders 101 on instagram instagram add me follow me you get to see some dumb behind the scenes stuff you get to send me snapchats directly i'll see you guys on there yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you next time Bye bye